welcome to the training about MADIMO dummy models. MADIMO has an extensive library of MADIMO models for various automotive and other safety applications. We have a large range of crash dummy and subsystem models for frontal impact, side impact, rear impact, and also child dummies and pedestrian head form and leg form impactors. In addition to this, we also have human body models of uh, adult and human child occupants, adult and human pedestrian models, also scalable, and we also have an active human model that uh, actively has a muscle response behavior model as well. The dummy models we develop are made and validated for the same specific purposes as the real dummy. So our frontal dummy models are designed to simulate frontal crash test loading, uh, interaction with the <coughs> dashboard, with the belts, with the airbags and the seat. Side dummies look more closely at lateral loading by side airbags and the car structure. Child dummies are designed to interact with child restraint system models and for out of position analyses and the pedestrian subsystems are designed to optimally assess the impact behaviour with specific parts of the vehicle, the bonnet or hood, the front bumper and the windscreen. Marimo dummy models. We have a full range of frontal dummy models including the Hybrid 3 family and the new Thor model. We have a full range of side impact dummies used in the various protocols and and that includes the World SID, the ES2, SID2S. We have a model of uh, the rear impact uh, dummy, the BioRoot 2. We have that as a facet and ellipsoid model. And a full range of child dummies for all the age ranges, both P and Q series, and the hybrid 3 children. In addition, we also offer scalable dummies that can be resized to any percentile. Here we see a complete list of all of the dummy occupant models and pedestrian models that we offer. The installation of MADIMO contains the full installation directory for all of the MADIMO models. It can be found under Share, DBS, Dummies 3D, and the human models can be found under Share, DBS, Human 3D. New models and model revisions can be found on the task download area. It's a protected download area with which you can log into and all new models and model versions and where appropriate new documentation can be found on the site. Our database has been developed with a robust and efficient model development process within a well-controlled environment in which we automatically detect changes in the model setup and the response, we can parallelize the runs, and we can automate the model evaluation. We get automate, automatic plots of all of the dummy signals against experimental data and previous dummy versions. We've developed an objective signal correlation rating system. And for our main dummy models, we also provide Q reports with a description of all of the validation experiments all of the validation level ratings assessed with our objective rating system, uh, range plots for all of the publicly available test data, and time history results. In MADIMO, we de design dummies uh, as a chains of rigid bodies with mass and inertia properties. These bodies are joined by kinematic joints. These are joined by kinematic joints for both the physical dummy joints and also to allow us to model internal deformation. And these joints have restraint models applied that represent structural deformation stiffness, damping, and so on. The skin and the contact surfaces are represented by either ellipsoids or facet surfaces. And the surface compliance is represented by its standard contact penetration stiffness function to which also damping and hysteresis can be applied. The dummy sensors are predefined in the model 
and correspond exactly to the location of the hardware sensors. Injury criteria for all of the standard test protocols are also predefined in the model. Taking the Hybrid 3 as an example, we can see how the dummy design is built up. Accelerometers are defined by requesting output from the location of the accelerometer in the hardware. Load cells uh, are defined by requesting the output of joint constraints. The occipital condyle joint in the Hybrid 3 is modelled as a revolute joint, effectively a hinge, while the rubber neck is defined using triple joint restraints, which effectively model short beam theory. At the base of the neck is the neck bracket, and the lower neck load cell is also modelled by requesting the joint constraint output. The thorax is a complex model, designed explicitly with deformable ribs, connected to a sternum, and the thoracic spine box is one single rigid body. The lower torso is designed with a lumbar spine that mimics the neck's triple joint model system. There are, there are load cells at the top and bottom of this, and the pelvis again is a single rigid mass. In the lower limbs, the femurs, tibias, upper and lower tibias are modelled with rigid bodies, and load cells and knee displacement sensors are applied as appropriate. Our objective signal correlation rating describes the model quality compared to reference signals, whether experimental references or previous model versions, using numerical values automatically. The idea of this is to remove the subjectivity of assessing dummy model performance, and it provides a concrete uh, numerical comparison of how two signals compare. It's a systematic approach, and it also allows us to compare the effect of changes upon large validation sets. For some of the models, we have upwards of a thousand uh, tests with relevant signals, and we need to see very quickly what the effect of a small change can be on the correlation of those signals. For our main models, we present all of the data in quality reports. These list all of the experiments used for validation and also the correlation rated on peak level, peak timing and general shape and trend criteria. In addition, there's a score for the overall model based on its correlation to the entire validation set. Each dummy is provided in the form of two input files. There is an include file and a user file. The include file contains all of the data of the complete dummy, the multi-body chain, the constraints and the output requests. And the idea is that this does not need to be modified by the user. The user file contains the run ID, the control cards, and any user-definable characteristics such as joint initialization, positioning and locking, and any additional output that may be required. Both files have the model name and version number provided in the product information element. The user file shows the control analysis time element in which the maximum integration time step for the dummy model is given. The Euler integration method is recommended. The time step recommendation follows that given in the model manual. Thank you for your attention.